It's good to come out to a place like this. There are not that many duties, and what duties there are don't tax you that much. So you can focus on your big duty, which is how to comprehend stress and suffering and how to let go of the cause. That's something that comes from within. If you have too many outside distractions, you miss your inner work here. Your outside responsibilities weigh too heavily. So that even though the inside drawbacks of not facing your inner responsibilities weigh heavily too, it's the outside ones that always seem to be screaming for attention. So now that you're here, you can put those outside issues away and focus on the, the big issue in life which is the fact that even though you are looking for happiness, many of the things you do end up causing suffering and stress. You want to be able to look at your actions in action, not just in the abstract. That's why we focus on the breath, try to get things as still as possible inside. The breath is what's called the bodily fabrication. It's the factor of the body that shapes the way you experience the body. Unfortunately, it's something that you can exert some control over. When you're here with the breath, then the least little movement you do with the body, when you move with your hands, you move with your feet, the breath is going to be involved. And so when you're staying with the breath, you're in a really good place to watch what's going on. And it gives you a background of stillness, so you can see the slightest moves and see, oh, I just thought this, I did that. That's why there's this stress right now. That's why there's a sense of being burdened right now. Because that's what we're here for, is to let go of those burdens, to learn how to put them down. So the mind can be light. Then your inner duties don't have to burden you anymore. This takes some time to get used to, because the mind is so likely to want to go looking outside. Outside, Interesting things are happening over there, interesting things are happening over here. But the really interesting thing that's happening is the fact that you're creating suffering and stress, and you don't know why. So keep reminding yourself that's the big issue, that's the one you really should have your interest in, because that's your responsibility. Your inner duties here, these are the ones that really should come first. To try to gain a sense of your priorities, that there are opportunity to sit here with your breath even though you may not get the, the lights and the action that you were looking for. At least it's giving you an opportunity to see your own mind in action. And that's something that's really worthwhile. So when things are getting a little bit dry in the meditation, remind yourself, at least you're at the right spot. You have to be like a hunter. The hunter can't determine that the rabbits are going to come by at 2 p.m. or in time for dinner or whatever. You don't know. What you do know is rabbits are likely to come here, so you stay right here. And you're trying to make yourself really still, so the slightest movement in the bushes you'll be able to hear, sense that something's going on over there. And so whether that's going to be 2 p.m. or 5 p.m. or tomorrow morning, that's not the issue. The fact is that you're right here and you're in the right spot. The difference, of course, is that the mind is actually forming its intentions all the time, so it's always something to look for. It's just a matter of tuning your eyes, giving yourself new eyes to look for what's here. It's not people going out and looking for morels in the in the forest. If your eyes aren't trained, you can go past a huge patch of them and you won't see them. But once you recognize the telltale signs, you see that they're everywhere. It's the same with your intentions. When you're not looking carefully, you miss them, because they keep pointing you off in other directions. But if you look carefully, you realize, oh, your mind is churning out intentions all the time. So here's your opportunity to see them in action. And that's how you can complete the duties in the mind.